I did a lot of research. Nobody could tell me. Use this, use that, use that, use that. Does not help. Like one year, I didn't know what to do. Immediately, the number one thing I did, in one or two months, you start seeing results. I think I started seeing results. When I noticed all this, I, I wasn't going to the doctor anymore. I was literally begging my gynecologist. Hello guys, welcome to our channel. If you probably want to know how I, st I stringed my fibers naturally, I know that's why you are watching this video. And it was really a long journey. First, I'm going to say to you what I used to string my fibroids. First of all, say how I was diagnosed with it because a lot of people might, you know, have fibroids. They might not know they have it. <laughs> Initially, it all started 2019 before the lockdown. I noticed that I, when I'm seeing my period, it's always a very deep pain. Like my waist, my lower abdomen, I could bleed for days, like 10 days, 14 days. Severe pain, like clumps of blood. I was wondering what is happening to me because I, I, I have not seen anything like this before. Then I, you know, visited my GP. So I was really complaining. Then uh, my GP gave me some medication to help. You know, then I was told to go to scan. And I found out that after doing the ultrasound, I found out that I had some multiple fibroids. Then the pain was still there. Every month I used to feel pain in my, I like, a, a week before my period, I'm already seeing the pains. I feel the pain before the real day. It's like I die before that time. So I was asking my um, GP, what will I do? My GP had no answer. Then uh, my GP looked for a gynecologist for me. First of all, I went to the hospital on my own because here in Ireland, if you go to the hospital and you want to put you on a waiting list, the waiting list can be two years, three years. So someone told me that I should go to my GP and tell them to look for a gynecologist for me that I will go private so then I never had a health insurance then so I went back to my GP then my GP arranged a gynecologist for me I actually want to know what was wrong with me I did a lapro is it laparoscopy a laparoscopy is scrotophy but yeah just I don't know what they call it anyway so camera in the womb and all that then I was asking, what will I do? Nobody was able to tell me what to do that would take the fibroids away naturally. The only thing they will tell you to do is they have some medical, either you go remove it. And mine was not what could be removed because they were all multiple fibroids, small fibroids, two centimeter, three centimeter. Nobody does surgery for that. If you want to have children, obviously, there is not all the treatment that you'll be entitled to, to have. So I thought to myself, what will I do? I did a lot of research. Nobody could tell me, use this, use that, use that, use that. Does not help. So I found out during doing my research, it took me years before I could come up, come up with something. Like one year, I didn't know what to do. When I was doing my research, I was told to eat healthy. Vegetables, fruit, grains, don't eat processed food that I started, but it didn't work. Immediately, the number one thing I did was I changed my diet. I went organic. I didn't eat any food that was sprayed with any chemical or whatever. All I started eating was organic. In one or two months, you start seeing results. I think I started seeing results. Everything stopped. That pain before period stopped that longer period because you can't literally tell when you're ovulating because you I can see my period for 14 days, 12 days before you know it's back, everything is all over the shop, the hormones, everything is all gone. So when I just changed my diet, first of all, that is when you know that it's shrinking. That will help because once your body, like your body produces, the cause of fibroids, it's two things, it's genetics, I remember uh, my mom removed fibroids 
when I was 18 years old, I went to the hospital. I saw her, she removed some big, big, bigger ones, like bigger than watermelon. It could be so big. Either genetics or excess estrogen in the body. So that will bring us to number two. So another thing we can do is to remove excess estrogen from our body. Like there are a lot of things we do that brings this estrogen to us. So what I started doing was I stopped. I like, you know, the house to smell well. I reduced putting all this um, air freshener. I went for this, um, I wrote it down, aroma or a diffuser. I got this from a health shop. This is lavender oil. I got this small bottle, 10 euros. What I normally do is I put it in the diffuser with the water. It brings out the lavender smell. It, if you put it on for like two hours or one hour, it goes around the house. I put one upstairs from the room, the one downstairs go around. Then another thing I did again was I was taking gritty and uh, I took maca too. Those also helped. And uh, what I actually did that I started seeing tremendous result was I had this three. I'm going to explain them one after the other. This milk texel is very good. I put some drop in warm water. When I'm seeing my period, I you need to detox. It helps a lot, 100%. Where I actually was doing it during my period was that if there's anything that is not good, it should be going with the blood. It all flows out because during your your menstrual cycle, you are supposed to be drinking more warm water so that everything in your stomach, we all, all those blood, you know, we all go out. So what I did was I put this meat tessel, I put some drop in water. It helps cleanse the liver. It removes all the excess um, estrogen in the body, which is the cause of fibroids. Another thing I did was this anti -choc. This anti -choc is actually a vegetable. I didn't use the vegetable in my salad because it's too, it's too strong. I won't be able to eat it. I could leave the name comment section of all these things I use. This one in liquid. With warm water, I put 20 drops two or three times daily. During my period, I do this religiously. Sometimes I don't do three times. I do once or I do twice a day. The third one I took was a Damina herbs. And uh, this Dam, uh, Daminan herbs is also good if you want to like it also cleans the womb all these things help immediately i started taking these things my god there was a drastic change then i went to vitamin d vitamin d is very good lack of vitamin d is traced to the cause of fibroids so you see we might think we have a lot of vitamin d we are not having enough so having supplement we also also helped me too immediately i started doing all these things i will tell you how i knew that the fibroids started shrinking before i went for scam then i changed my diet i was eating more of healthy food i was no longer i don't eat brown bread sorry i don't eat white bread i was eating only brown bread i was eating more fruits and vegetables and I was eating, most of my food were organic. I was seeding, seeding is very good too. Pumpkin seed, flax seed, you know, hemp seed. I did all those things. I stopped taking cow milk dairy. I took them out of my, out of my diet. I was having uh, almond milk, uh, soya milk. So what happened was just tremendous change. Before, the period could start today. I can't even, I can't even explain myself. It will, it will come today, stop. So three days time it will go and start. How will you count that? But now immediately I changed my diet. I was doing all the three things during my period. I could do it for five days. Another thing again I used was lemon. I put lemon in uh, hot water. That is also good for detoxing too. Lemon is very good. You have to do lemon five times in the month. So I normally do it during my period. Another thing that helps again is uh, ginger. You can, you know, put ginger in your soup cut it in like you know ginger can really help shrink fibroids when i noticed all this I, I wasn't going to the doctor anymore i was literally begging my gynecologist i book appointments begging my gynecologist what will i do what will i do what do these do that although my gynecologist was very nice took me in for you know surgery to actually see took me for a procedure three times to see what was literally wrong with me and they found out that it was just fibroids. Fibroids could be deadly. If you are young like me, that um, you can't just go and 
like go and do the, the surgery to remove the fibroid how long it keeps growing it's like mushroom when you pluck it out it will grow again the only thing you could do is how to control it and if you use if you use your diet to control it like it will go a long way i started losing weight to be honest i was i was a bit more um, chubby than this when i just changed my diet you lose weight trust me i went more protein fruits and vegetables lentils lentils quinoa a sweet potato i cut off processed food processed food is not my friend immediately you do that you will see results once the period starts today it starts flowing today till five days or four days it stops that is when you will know that you yourself you'll know that there's a tremendous change that severe pain is gone that clot of blood is gone you will notice yourself everything just went boom for me and i was still taking my tea I will drink my green tea, matcha tea. They are really very good to help you, you know, remove excess estrogen from your body. And immediately I started doing that. Then I went for scan. I noticed that it reduced. I think the biggest one used to be three inches before it went to two inches. Gradually it will start it started reducing, and then I can't even I can't even tell anything I go when I complain like there's oh fibroids oh fibroids but now nobody tells me that again it's shrinking to God be the glory it has actually reduced so guys this was how I was able to you know shrink my fibroids naturally recap I use anti-shock I'll write it again you can do this research yourself I use mictelso and I use this Dem demina herbs so uh, this actually really helped me you know to detox like detoxing removing those excess estrogen for my for my body and the moment you start reducing them the moment you start shrinking the fibroids and uh, please leave in the comment section if you have any other thing that you know that you can you know that you know people used to you know string their fibroids naturally can you leave it in the comment section because uh, fibroid is really a big problem to women and most people are actually looking for how the doctors don't have an idea they, they, they don't they didn't do about all this in the medicine school so it took me time you know to be able to come out with all this research and find out what actually helped me apart from this tree matcha tea green tea um ginger lemon like detoxing yourself if there's any other thing you know please can you leave in the comment section please don't forget to like hit share and subscribe i'll do another video on how i was able to balance my hormones too because everything was all over the shop not only the period i could you know i was getting weak shivering when there is no cold i knew things were not right so i'm gonna do another video on that thank you so much i'll see you in the next video bye, -bye.